Oh yeah, it's a decent bass. Ain't a turtle. You just like leave me alone, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just checking you out. Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm gonna do some fishing for bass today. There's perch in here, pickerel, bluegill. I'm hoping to cook up some perch today, do a catch and cook. Uh, I got my waders on. Uh, we had like five, six days of rain in a row. So it's really tough to get in here anyways. So I'm gonna have to use my waders to get in here. And uh, I'm gonna be casting with uh, worms. I have shiners, spinner baits. Uh, soft plastics. We're gonna try a bunch of stuff today. So uh, let's do some fishing So today on one pole I'm using uh, bobber and night crawlers And I've got my old standby the white spinner bait And I've got this uh, new Lunker Hunt Frog I just bought last week. Uh, I caught a bass on it last week for the first time, so we're going to be trying that. And I got a few other things back in my backpack. can try later. I also have these Emerald Shiners. I'm going to be trying these. Had a hit on the uh, worm, didn't get to it in time. <laughs> so, <laughs> bluegill wasn't even trying. I just had my worm. <laughs> I had the worm in the water for like a second. And he hit it right by my legs, so. Be nice to get some perch today, cook some perch up. And something was just playing with my bobby. There it is, it's under. Ah. Come on. 
Okay, there it is. Yeah, I got it. Oh, got off. Felt like a decent fish, too. If that was a bass or what, but there he goes. Can't seem to hook him. What's going on here? Just a beautiful July day. It's about 75. It's supposed to get up to about 85 today. I got a hit. I just took it under. I got him. It's a decent perch, that's what we want. Alright, that is a good size one too. That is a real nice looking perch. Using half a night crawler. Pretty good size, so. It's kind of been my strategy. I got the bobber and the worm out, and then I'll be casting something else, like this spinner bait. So I have two poles going. This white spinner bait's been working pretty good for me. I just retrieve it at a moderate rate and then I let it drop for a few seconds, bring it in, let it drop. Usually right on that fall is when they hit. Oh, I just had a hit. Something just hit it. Right on the edge of those weeds there. one right here right on the edge of the weeds I had that hit earlier small bass real little one Maybe a half a pound at that. Nothing on that barber yet. I'm just gonna keep casting my spinner bait. So right here, of course I had my camera, bass just jumped for a fly, must have been two, three pounds. So I'm going to cast my, uh, stop casting with my spinner bait. I have a bobber and a worm here. Right, my bob is under. Oh. There it is. There's one. Oh yeah, it's a decent bass. Probably that one that jumped a little while ago. All right, yeah. bad at all. Come on. Couple pounds. I 
healthy looking bass. Caught him on that little piece of worm. That was it. So I would like to get one more perch to cook up. So I'm going to try one of these emerald shiners. And I'm going to cast my Lunker Hunt Frog. Legs, I'm on this rock out here about 30 feet from the shore reeling in a couple times a couple short reels let it pause a few seconds one long reel let it pause I just like to mix it up a little bit try to make the frog look a little erratic or maybe like it's injured a lot of times that can trigger a strike it just jumped right there. It didn't jump. That jumped uh, when I had my camera off. He jumped right up in front of me here for a fly. Really like using this frog because you get it through all this thick plants and lily pads and doesn't get hung up, rarely does it get hung up on anything. A lot of times you have bass just sitting right in there, right on the edge of these weeds and plants. So I put a whole night crawler on this time. There's been a bass jumping over here, half decent bass, right on the edge of those lily pads. So I'm gonna cast this night crawler right over there. Yeah, let's see if I can bring him in. Put on that whole night crawler. So I left part of it dangling off the hook. So that night crawler is moving around. They see that, there it is, yep. Oh, I missed him. Come back, he could come back. There he goes. Ah, missed him. Could just be a small fish nibbling at the end. A bass would just grab that whole thing. All right, back to the drawing board. I got a new night crawler on here. That last one, he just robbed me of that whole night crawler. size one well pretty good size I got another hit on this bobber I'm hoping it's a perch so I would like two perch to cook up Uh, another bluegill. Another one. Whoa. Yeah. Did you see that? It was a blue herring. He just dove in for a fish. Yep, he's got the fish in his mouth. I don't know if you could see that. There he is. Looks like a blue herring or a hawk. Oh, big bass just jumped there too. 
A lot of action here. Whatever that bird is, you can see him right now. He's above the tree line right now. Ah, it looks like a hawk. Oh, I got a hit here. Ah, oh, got a hit. Come on, come on, take it. There it goes, there it goes. Yep. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a perch. Nope. Another bluegill. Another bluegill. Uh, that's a fish. Oh yeah. Feels like a bass too. Pretty sure it's a bass. Wow, that's not a bad fish. Look at this. It's a hook. Somebody had caught him and he must have snapped the line. I don't know if you could see the hook there. So we're gonna have to be a surgeon in a few seconds here and get that out. That's been in him for a while. You can see the hole is here. Well, at least I got it out. That's what happens, you know. Snap the line, the hook stays in there, and So I'm fixing my bobber here and my worms dangling in the water and uh, this little sunfish bluegill hits. <laughs> Cruising around my feet. perch that's what I'm looking for I wanted one more oh ah he got off <laughs> wanted one more for the frying pan and lost him right at the end I think he knew what I was thinking all right there's another fish I hope it's a perch Yes, another nice perch. Decent perch. Clean these perch up.
This is where the Leatherman tool comes in handy. You can just grab the tail. Grab the tail, you can do your scaling. to get rid of that top fin, the dorsal fin. It's all bony and I don't feel like picking through that, so. He's ready to go. Works out perfect, somebody already had a campfire here. I just gotta gather some wood. A lot of stuff is still damp. We had a downpour last night. It's been raining like seven days in a row. So. This is perfect. Branch was raised above the ground, so it's not all waterlogged. It should be fairly dry. And these are the size of the pieces that I need to get it started. Let's find some birch bark. Aha. This stuff goes up quick. There it is. There it is. I have to love that birch bark. You need to start a fire and you have some around, use it because it goes up good. It's perfect. All right. You can hear the oil is ready. All right. Got a burr onion. Salt, pepper, Shoes. 
salt, get some inside. Pepper. I'll season it again when I get it in the pan. Alright. Put this one right here. Using uh, flaxseed for a coating. I ran out of Italian breadcrumbs, but flaxseed will work. Cooking up nicely. Make sure he's perching. And everything's cooking up pretty good. A little more pepper. Bit of salt. And I think I'll throw a bit of uh, Italian seasoning on there for good measure. Give it a little more flavor. Check in, see how this fish is doing. Oh yeah, it's falling right off the bone. Look at that. Look at that. That is done or just about done. Definitely done, and that looks delicious. Look at that white meat. That one was a smaller one, but cooked a little bit quicker. Let's see how this one's doing. It's a little bit bigger, but it's coming off. Peeling off nicely. Look at that. Delicious white meat. I'm going to throw a little bit of cayenne pepper on there. A little bit of a burn. A little fire. Mmm. That is delicious. Fresh white meat. Cooked in a cast iron skillet. Chinese potatoes. Perfect. These onions have caramelized. You get that special flavor when they get caramelized. It's like candy. I also have these um, emergency packets full of vitamin C, antioxidants. Um, electrolytes it's good to have gives you a little boost especially when it's hot out <clears throat> put in your water this is up give it a good shake good to go all right Pan's cool. Firebox stove is cool enough to pack up. That's simple to pack up.
Well, that's going to wrap it up, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, if you want to like or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you subscribe, you'll be able to see on the left-hand side of your screen when I upload a new video. There'll be a lot more fishing, uh, hiking, camping, catch and cook videos like this. As always, enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you on the next adventure.